Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, New England Gardening here. Today's Tuesday, June 9th, and the sun's just starting to break through some of these clouds that we've had today, and it's warming up real quick, but cooled off recently. But we've had these fluctuating temperatures last week. We had a low of like 44 degrees, so I've sort of been um, taking this ventilation shim on and off the the nuke here because I just don't think there's enough bee coverage and I'm concerned about if there's any brood and then it might get chilled. But yesterday I noticed it was, wasn't that hot, but uh, the bees seemed like they needed water and although they're not here in time for the video, I put this dish, they noticed this one with some res residual water in it. I put this out with some rocks in it and uh, yeah, I want to go take a look in the hive. I've got the smoker all set up. And if you recall, I introduced a Saskatraz queen on the 13th of May. And then um, I think on the 16th, I went back in because I had uh, seen online that one of the techniques for trying to introduce a queen into a worker lane uh, hive uh, is to remove the frames with uh, the eggs and the drone brood on it from the worker. Another technique is you take all the bees and you shake them at considerable distance away from the hive in hopes that the lane workers do not make it back, which doesn't seem like, uh, seems like slim odds. So um, I went back in on the 27th. Uh, on the 16th when I went in to take the frames out, the um, she was still in the queen cage, but there was about a third of the candy had been removed. So this, you know, it would have taken uh, less time if there was a larger population of bees. But when I went in on the 27th, um, she had been released. So anywhere from the 16th, no, not from the 16th, uh, you know, unless they really went to work, uh, anywhere from uh, sometime after the 16th to, to the 27th is, uh, you know, when she was released. And she could take up to a week, I guess, to start laying. So if I give her all of the remaining of May, um, and hopefully, you know, it was before that, um, or if she just started in June, today's the 9th, I'm hoping there's some cap root in there. If not, they're capping it right now. That's the hope, and then it seems like we're really cutting it down to the wire here. I wait until the 21st for workers of uh, nurse bees to hatch, and because every day this population is dwindling, I don't know how old the remaining workers are. Uh, like I said, it was in I think in March we had a warm, this warm couple of days, and then I saw some pollen going in, and I saw some pollen going in in April, and then I had, we had weird weather in May, beginning of May, so I was concerned. It seemed like something was different, but definitely pollen has picked up. They're really bringing in pollen. Uh, right, right now there's some yellow pollen going in. Some of these bees are coming in with, the, with their baskets just packed. Uh, which is a lot different from before so let's see if I can catch any bees coming in with pollen that one had a little bit uh, I meant to see when the nectar flow ends in Massachusetts I think it's still going I try to put some syrup on here but I think the holes are too big they're really dripping and I was getting paranoid that I was going to drip the syrup onto the queen. So anyways, let me stop yapping and get into this hive here. All right, so let's take a look and hopefully I'll see some cat brood. I got my smoker, hopefully it didn't go out. Got shorts on. You know you're old when you're wearing 
black socks with shorts and shoes and you just don't care. But let's take a look here. Well, they seem to have propolized the inner cover. That's a good sign, I guess. Wow, that's really on there. Let's get on this side here. Okay. Let's see if the queen's on the bottom here. Doesn't look like it. Picks up and dies down a little bit. I laid this down in the front. And I just had a bee land on my thumb. Alright, so if we look down here, boy, they really like to propolize those two frames together, that original. Let's take a look down the side here. I realized afterwards when I watched the video I had changed the position of this frame. I had the new frame next to the wall. So hopefully I don't have any like bad surprise here where there's just lane workers and queens either missing or not doing anything. So let's take a look. This frame actually has some comb built up on it, I think. Slowly working on it. Let's move this aside. As you can see here, I think I I have about two and a half frames maybe of bees. This is really cutting it close if this is able to come back with a successful hatch of some new bees. So let me take this off. Oh, I just realized I don't hear a roar of any kind. Seem to be pretty calm. I haven't used too much smoke. So, here's some pollen. Building up the comb on this. The sun's coming out, warming up. I don't see any brood on this. A couple of individual capped back honey, maybe. That's Really not much going on in these, this frame here, which just leaves the original frame. Well, she's laying. She's really sticking to the one frame, which I cannot tell yet. I think they're starting to make some noise. I do see cat brood. Ooh, okay. Let's take a look at this frame here. I see capped brood. Okay. So I have basically one frame of bees if 
they all decided to go on this frame that would be it and what we got here all right we got capped brood so the timing is today this is the ninth and she's laying I see larva I see bees with a purpose so what's on the other side here more hmm looks like there's a larva there that's I don't know if you can see that there's a bee right on it oh it just I didn't know, I didn't know they would do that the larva came to the surface and then it went back down into the cell hmm. that's interesting so I have two sides here of capped brood or brood being in the pro in the process of gaming capped I really can't tell the pattern here because there is a lot of yeah empties that look like they're have lava in them and it looks like yeah they're in the process of getting capped so right on time here so on the 21st is when these bees hopefully will start uh, hatching and adding to the population here uh, I don't know what the odds are of me being able to see the queen I'm looking uh, I don't know if she's gotten any much bigger or not but I'm looking I'm looking not seeing her oh there she is right there I don't know if you can see her right there it's not that big So this is the Saskatraz Queen, that's all I need. Perfect. I've got some bridge comb there onto the wall for some reason. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with that. Oh great, there she is. Now I'm gonna get paranoid because she's at the bottom of this. Wait until she's more. Come on, go up. No, not that way. All right, she's making her way up. I can comfortably put this in. All right, happy days. So, this is New England Gardening, and today is June 9th, and the Saskatraz bee that was introduced on the 13th uh, was still in the cage on the 16th, and was visibly released on the 27th, but she might have gotten out somewhere in between, um, is laying now. And uh, it looks like the brood that's in there is being capped in the process of being capped and should be hatching on the 21st of June. So this is New England Gardening. Thanks for watching.